Oh my goodness. Look at the temperature. Thank God this car is AC. Because Southern BC sure doesn't for the next week. It's going to be like pushing the high 30s in Celsius. And that is hot. That's why I'm in Canada's only desert. Situated just a couple of miles and a couple of minutes north of the American border. Here we are in the one true desert region and ecosystem of Canada. Welcome to a Soyuz at the very southern tip of the Okanagan Valley. So far south, Okanagan Lake doesn't even come here, but the whole valley is still called that. And it is hot. It's at least 30. It's supposed to get up to the mid to high 30s, I believe, all across southern BC. And a Soyuz, which has the warmest lake in Canada, is typically one of the three warmest cities in Canada every summer. Lillooet and Lytton, also in BC, being the other two. Both of which are also in very arid desert locales. The Mighty Crow's Nest Highway. This one right over my shoulder. It is in the middle of vacation land right now. And uh, it's also the southern interprovincial highway that crosses BC and Alberta. It's an option to the Trans Canada Highway, which is much much better highway, a much more built-up highway, much busier highway, but this kind of goes through a lot of the, the little towns along the border. Beyond a Soyuz, it gets very haggard, and it just hugs the American border all the way to Alberta. When we're here in a Soyuz, you can smell all these, the desert flora. And yet, it's still Christmas in July, if you can see those lights. Soyuz is kind of a semi-major crossroads here. Heading west, all the way back to Vancouver and the coast. Heading north, all the way through Kelowna, Kamloops, and Prince George, en route to the Yukon and Alaska. And to the east, well, that's everything I'm doing over the next two days. To Alberta. COVID Central. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs>